scary. Why is it hanging? <laughs> Blowing in the wind. I think this is basically a Kelsey bundle. Hey, it's really good. I did a straight line. I'm very impressed. That was too many. Today's video is sponsored by Instax. Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Story Girls. And happy holidays! Happy holidays! We are in the holiday spirit here at our TSG headquarters. And this is our first holiday video of the season. It's been uh, quite the year, so <laughs> it's very nice to finally be here, you know what I mean? Yeah, and we wanted to make some holiday content that kind of went with the times. I know a lot of us might not be getting together this holiday season the way we wanted to. Mm -mm. Um, and instead are maybe doing like virtual gift giving or like from a distance gift giving. Yeah, and hanging out. So, we've decided this year to do DIY gifts that you can send in the mail. <laughs> So these are things that of course are trendy and people are going to want, but are also easily put in the mailbox and sendable. Mm -hmm. Okay, first before we film, I wanna get like a good Christmassy holiday vibe going in the office. We definitely can't do a holiday video without a Christmas tree. That would be sacrilege. <laughs> Ali, I'm gonna take you, we're gonna go get a tree. I'm gonna leave you to set up what we have mm -hmm. and we'll be back ready for some holiday DIYs. Have fun guys. Okay. No chopping down trees this year, otherwise I would be there. Um, it doesn't look like they have any big ones. So sad. That's where they would be normally in there. Yeah, in this little tent. Welcome pretty empty Canadian Tire. What the heck? I guess we gotta go to, where do we gotta go? Like a, it's a real like nursery? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Hi, winter storm. Oh. Look at these. When you get distracted by the tropical plants. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. Great. Love Found them. <laughs> trees. Looks like a good height. <laughs> oh, the trees. What are we looking for? Like eight feet? Yeah. I don't know. Let's ask. Yeah. I can't tell. I love it. <laughs> I get distracted. <laughs> it's so scary. Why is it hanging? <laughs> They're all blowing in the wind. This has a nice top to it. Yeah, she looks pretty thick. She's good. Like, how are you gonna put a star on that? You're gonna, it's gonna look funny. Oh yeah, that's too tall. Think? Can you help bundling a tree? This guy here. Right? That was on. We got our tree. Almost. This is fun. It's like a, like a tree. <laughs> <gasps> wow. So oh my god, damn, that looks like fire. I know, it's very cute. <laughs> Come on, fit. Tree! <laughs> Tree acquired! <Yeah. laughs> Shout out to our intern, Sarah, for making this garland for us. It's from actually her Etsy shop, which is Paper Cuts. We'll link it below for you guys. I got these at Ikea when I was there. Okay, they're like these, they're like light. They're like paper. <laughs> oh, they look like this. Actually, I'll just show you. No, but it was Becky though. Open it. Oh, a surprise. Mm. Christmas is all about surprises. Cause I was like, we're not gonna have any presents under our tree. Mm. So I was like, we need to make it look cute. Look how cute. What are they? But then your tree doesn't look empty. True. Or you can just like put them elsewhere. That's cute. But I think they look so cute under here. <laughs> ah! Cute. Isn't that so cozy? Very cute. Love it. Great addition. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 
Okay, so first up, we are gonna be DIYing a gift box to send to that plant lover or that person that wants to get into gardening. And I'm so excited because today's gift, this gift we're doing is sponsored by Instax. So we're gonna be gifting your giftee, your gift receiver, a little do-it-yourself gardening kit. And we're gonna be giving the pot, the soil, and the seeds, and a super, super cute way to personalize this gift is to print out a little picture of what your plant is gonna turn into and gift it with the gift as well. So to start off, we're gonna find a photo of the plant. I have tomato seeds. I don't know if you guys remember seeing me on Instagram. I was like big into gardening last summer and we were most successful with our tomato plants. I just find that tomatoes are one of the easiest plants to grow. You really can't go wrong. So as a starter gift, this is a good one I found. So. We're gonna be sending tomatoes, so I'm gonna find a picture of tomatoes. I have a lot of photos of them because like I said, I was big into my garden, so let's see. So I have a photo pulled up here of my tomato plants, what these little babies will grow into, and I'm gonna show you a fun way on how you can print this using the Instax Mini Link smartphone printer and a fun feature they have on the Instax Mini Link app to customize your photo as well. The Instax Mini Link smartphone printer is a fun, compact, and interactive wireless printer that seamlessly connects with the app on your phone through Bluetooth. This little guy is so much more than a printer. The mini link includes a ton of fun features to make your photos even cuter. Using the sketch and edit mode, you can use any handwriting, artwork, or photos to create unique transparent overlays for your prints. You can also use a variety of filters and frames to customize each photo before printing. So on a plain piece of paper, I'm just using a marker to write out tomato, which is the name of my plant, and using the sketch and edit mode to create a transparent overlay that can go over my picture of the tomatoes. I can combine them together and then send it to the printer to print. Okay, I have my picture, it's developing, it's looking so cute already, but I'm gonna put this to the side to let it do its thing while we assemble the rest of the gift, which is so easy also. So this little pot, you can find it at the thrift store all the time. And then we're gonna include a little baggie of soil just to get them started. Bonus points if you recycle your bag from something else, like those bags that bread come in. Perfect use for those. So have a little bag of soil, I'm just gonna tie it up really cute with some embroidery floss to put in the pot to send. And our little plant marker is done and so cute. So I'm gonna put this in the pot and our little DIY um, garden is good to go and send off. How cute is this? So next up, this gift bundle is gonna be for your friend that is either a self-care enthusiast or is somebody who maybe needs a little bit more self-care and you're encouraging them. I already took the liberty of going to my fabric store, grabbing some silk fabric. This was about $20 which like for real, like 100% silk is I think a pretty good deal, but this is also a great upcycling opportunity too, if you have like silk sheets or something, but um, we just have a simple white here and I've already cut it out. You definitely gotta make sure you have a clean surface when you're working with this silk. Clean hands, clean surface. I fold it in half, so it's technically 41 inches by 41 inches, but with it folded in half, it's like 41 by 20.5. So next step, is going to be um, pinning all the sides except for the one open side. You know how a pillow works, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a rolling hem or a rolling seam where you roll it so that all the frayed bits are on the inside, even though it's going to be the inside of the pillowcase, you still don't want the inside of your pillowcase fraying. So I'm gonna do that on the two sides. So on the sewing machine, I did my short side and my long side in my rolled seam slash hem. And I was pleasantly surprised on how easy that was. But something I realized while I was sewing that I forgot to tell you guys is what the benefits of a silk pillowcase are. Like, why are we even doing a silk pillowcase? Well, if you know, then you obviously know. But if you don't, then it's really good for your skin and your hair. Um, it doesn't absorb moisture the same way a normal cotton pillowcase would. So it keeps the moisture in your face um, and it can reduce frizz in your hair. Um, it's also just amazingly soft. We also read that um, it reduces wrinkles, but like, I don't, I don't know if it can like reduce wrinkles. But I guess it's the whole moisture thing. Oh, okay. Okay, I just scienced myself. You just got science. So the last thing I'm gonna do for this pillowcase is just fold around the open side. When cutting this out, I gave myself about 10 extra inches. So that means we can do about a four or so inch 
um, fold over and then we're gonna do our rolling hem again. I'm also going to do a top stitch at the top just so that my loop lays flat. A few moments later. Um, okay, so I did my top stitch and then I quickly realized, well, actually Danielle realized, she was like, that's a big pillowcase. And I was like, damn girl, you right. And that's because I messed up my math. <laughs> I didn't need to add 10 inches. I only needed to add five inches when I'm rolling it over because it's rolling back on itself, if you know what I mean. So um, this is potentially the size of a king size pillowcase if you have a king sized pillow. But um, you guys probably already know I made this mistake because um, when I was introing this, we'll fix the math, but it should have only been 36 inches, not 41. Right? All I'm gonna do here is just like roll it again. And I essentially just did a giant like rolled hem and then I'll do another top stitch. So I feel like you guys get me. It's one of those days. So this whole pillowcase in the end, if you're doing a queen size regular standard pillowcase, it should be 30 by 20. We can just go ahead and flip our so, so soft pillowcase inside out. There you go, quite easy. Um, and the perfect addition to our little bundle of self-care gifts. So let's move on to the next one, which is a quick linen um, and room spray in lavender, or you can do whatever scent that you want. Honestly, um, I was gifted one of these like a couple months ago, and now I use it every night. Now, I, like if I try to go to bed without spraying it, I'm like, I need my relaxing lavender <laughs> spray. I never thought I'd be this person, but this is who I am now. Um, and you will be too if you try this spray. These are the ingredients you'll need. Witch hazel, lavender essential oil, H2O, and um, just a little bottle here. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix everything in my DIY measuring cup here. I don't know about you guys, but we have a measuring cup for DIY projects and then like the kitchen measuring cups. So this one has like wax all over it and stuff. So I'm just gonna use this. We already have three ounces of water in here. I'm going to Top it up with some witch hazel to give us a total of um, four ounces. And then our essential oil of choice to help with your relaxing sleep is lavender. So we're gonna add 10 drops of essential oil. And with this one, as well as like with the one I have, um, you just have to shake it up before you use it. Now we've done lots of labels before, so we could, you know, print out another label and do that whole thing. But what I've actually been doing, and I think is like a little bit easier and like, I guess environmentally friendly, cause there's like basically no materials needed. I picked up some China markers, which are not what they sound like. They're not markers. They're actually wax white pencils that you can write on glass. So let's write lavender room spray. So for the last part of this little bundle, um, we're gonna be throwing in a bubble bar. I picked up this one from Lush. This is a little polar bear bubble bar. And the reason why I like bubble bars better is because when you're having a bath, I would rather like big fluffy bubbles than like colored water that potentially would stain my tub and leave glitter all over the place. I think this is basically a Kelsey bundle. I love lavender spray. I love my bubble bars. I don't yet have a silk pillowcase, but maybe I do now. Okay, next up, I'm gonna show you how to DIY a mailable appropriate gift for maybe the fashion lover in your life. I'm gonna show you how to do a face mask and a giant scrunchie, but let's start with the face mask. So, we have been wearing these things absolutely everywhere, and I know I would be super grateful to get a new one as a gift, especially one that's cute, because sometimes, you know, they're more basic. But on the holidays, even if you're just hanging out at home, you still wanna look cute. So we're gonna do a red velvet mask. I'm very excited about this because as you can see, I'm doing the red lip. It makes me feel like the holiday season wearing red lips and a mask maybe is like the red lip alternative. Am I just rambling? <laughs> Let's get into it. So we have a handy dandy template that you can get on our website, linked below um, for free. If you wanna make this along with me, this is just gonna help you start off on the right foot so it's super easy. So go ahead, print these out. And then with this template, we're gonna be using two layers of fabric. So your top layer can be whatever fun color you want. I'm opting again for this red velvet. And for the bottom layer, it's advisable that you use cotton. I'm gonna actually be using an old shirt. Hello, Nervous Laughs. We love um, reusing materials. And plus this white cotton that we have is just very, very soft. So it's gonna be the perfect underside layer. So with the templates that you have, 
cut out two of each one on your different pieces of fabric. Okay, now it's time to assemble all the pieces. So I'm gonna start by taking both the front and the back and making them into one front piece and one back piece by sandwiching them and sewing along the curve of each one. I'm gonna use red thread for all of this because it's easier. Plus it'll be a cute accent color on the inside. See the red stitching? And then to keep this mask looking professional, fold the raw edge of the curve to one side and then stitch that down from the front to hold it in place. Do this for both the front piece and the lining piece. Okay, it's really good. I did a straight line, I'm very impressed. You guys know I'm, I'm working on my sewing skills, so every time I do a good job, I'm really happy. <laughs> Cute Wendy's Rose. What you don't know is that every time you saw them on a sewing machine, they actually mm -hmm. had just gotten off the phone with me. <gasps> That's right. I did that, I did that. <laughs> She knows. That's why I thought that was so funny, because I was like, she's right, she's right. On the lining, we're now gonna hem the two sides with a rolling hem about a quarter of an inch wide and stitch it down. The little rectangle piece from the template is meant to hold the nose wire in place. So fold in the two short sides and then fold the whole thing in half and stitch up both short sides. So now we've got this open nose tube piece. Take the open side of the tube and line it up to the top of the right side of the lining piece. Pin it in place and stitch a straight line across the bottom. Okay, so this is the fun part. This is where we get to put the two pieces together and it starts to actually look like a mask. So we have this piece that's stitched on the bottom. The top is still loose, but this is where we're gonna actually put it in place. So you wanna make sure that both of your bad sides are facing outward at this point because we're gonna flip it around after and sandwich them together, which means that this little thing we did is gonna be on the inside currently, but don't worry, we'll release it into the wild after. So let's sandwich the two pieces and do a stitch across the top and the bottom. The most exciting part where we get to see how it all paid off. We're just trying to get inside out. Let's do it. Wow, this is giving me very Canadian vibes. And I like it. Wow, this is so cute. Hold on, there's a little thread. Nobody see that. Okay, wow. Can you see from the front? It's very cute. And on the inside, it looks like so professional. Wow, we did that, good job. Okay, we're almost done. Not done yet, but almost done. Now we have the outside red pieces that are still left raw. So I'm gonna fold those in and sew it to make a little tube for our elastics to go in. Okay, so the bulk of this mask is done. It's looking very professional and legitimate. The last step is just to do the little ear elastics, but I wanna do something fun with this because I think what makes this gift exciting is the giant scrunchie we're gonna make to go along with it. Scrunchies are so easy to do, but I want to remind you guys anyways if you don't know how to do them. And then because I want this gift to be like a two-in-one matchy gift, I want to do the ear loops kind of in a similar matching scrunchie style. I don't know if this will be too much, but I think it'll be really cool. So I'm going to show you how to make a little scrunchie that we'll do with the ears, and then we'll make a big one to go along with this as well. Use a thin, stretchy elastic and measure out seven inches. This can be adjusted depending on how big your friend's face is. And take your scrunchie material and cut out a rectangle that is 14 inches long. I'm only cutting this about an inch wide because I don't want the ear pieces to be too bulky at all. Like he's like, you know what this project needs? To be harder. Oh my God, <laughs> right? I just want it to be good, you know? And the reason things are always like expensive or like look good is because they're hard to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've cracked the code of the fashion industry. <laughs> the harder to make clothes cost more. Wow. Groundbreaking. The more you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How in the heck am I ever gonna flip this inside out? That's, That's a question I'm... I'm asking myself. I will donate my own microphone safety pin. Oh, wow. To flip this inside out. She's real committed to the job. <laughs> you know we have other safety pins. We do? Can I have one? <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that, a whole bag of them. Here's how it's done, folks. You, put your thing, your thing in one side, okay? Pinned on one side on the inside, see that? Wait. And then you push it through, all the way. It looks like snake skin. Because <laughs> of like the color and the wrinkliness. Why does everyone insist on making everything I do gross? <laughs> I want you guys to know that I am making this much more extra than it needs to be. Like, you can throw the elastics on it and be done. Don't be like me if you don't want to be like me, okay? Just finish the mask. Feed your cut elastic through the new tube, and again, you can use a safety pin on the end of the elastic to help push it through.
Oh my God, I love how this turned out so much with like the velvet and the little chiffon ear scrunchies. I think, dare I even say this is a little bougie? Before I move on to my pairing gift with this, there's one final thing we have to do and that's the little tube. In here we gotta add um, our little metal nose piece. So I'm just making that out of pipe cleaner. You can put the pipe cleaner through and chop it to size and there you go. And then that little pipe cleaner can come out when you need to throw this in the wash. And because it's a pipe cleaner, if it needs to be replaced, I feel like everyone has access to those, which is great. Okay, let's move on to DIYing a giant scrunchie to pair with this. Again, this is gonna be super easy, but in case you missed it or you skipped ahead to this part, I'm gonna show you how to do it anyways. Okay, so same thing as last time, we're cutting out a giant rectangle to make the tube. And because I want this to be a giant scrunchie, I'm gonna make this quite wide at 10 inches by about 24 inches long. Okay, so technically this is almost the exact same steps as how I did the earpieces on the mask, but because this is such a big scrunchie and it's a see-through material, I wanna add a couple extra steps just to make sure this thing lasts and looks really good. So, because this material is very fray as you can see, I wanna add a zigzag slash imitation serger stitch to this so that it really holds up and doesn't shed. Cause I would hate, cause it's so bulky for you to see all these like hairs in there as it's shedding over time. That's not cute. And we wanna give good gifts. So, before I sew this tube together, I'm gonna take the ends and do a zigzag stitch off the side of this so that it stops the fraying from happening so much. As you can see, the needle is stitching on the fabric and then off the fabric, which ends up wrapping the edge in thread and stopping it from fraying. Switch back to a straight stitch and then sew your rectangle into a tube. Okay, so mask and matching giant scrunchie are complete. Time to gift these. I personally would be very excited to be gifted this and I think that's always a really good starting point. If you don't know what to get someone, just think, what would you like to receive? It's not a flawless solve, but it works most of the time as a good jumping off point. And for our last gift idea, I'm really excited about this. This is for either the foodie in your life or for the person who's like kind of a foodie but never cooks and spends all of their salary ordering in food every single week. So we're going to make the cutest little recipe book card ever. And I mean, this is just super nostalgic and holiday related for me because I feel like my mom had the recipe box and I always just like go through it and figure out what I either want to make for dinner or a special dessert. And it kind of sucks just like having to go onto your phone and internet to get inspiration all of the time. So I'm really excited by this little recipe card booklet that we're gonna make. I'm going to use the Instax printer again, and I'm going to print out some photos of recipes or food that I've made that I have the recipes for. And then we can get to DIYing. So I have some of my recipes printed out here. Honestly, you can do as many and as little as you want. So that's a like really fun customization of this. I think it'd be really fun to do like just desserts or like little themes. Um, or like cheap eats or something. So thank you Instax for your contribution to this DIY. You are now on break, you can go for lunch. So my next step is to take my craft paper recipe cards here. Um, if you actually bought like real lined recipe cards, you could save some steps, but I just really like the look of the craft paper ones. Um, so I'm kind of gonna have to try to write really straight, but if you grab the ones with lines, that's pretty smart of you. <laughs> and now what I'm gonna do is just add a little hole punch in the corner because we're gonna end up stringing these on a um, beautiful gold jump ring. You guys might remember this one. We used it in our AirPod case DIY from last Christmas, right? Was it Christmas? Yeah. Wow, Allie knows everything. We'll link this down below because they're super vibey. So I'm gonna stack just a couple of these at a time. Um, and punch a hole in the corner so that we can string these onto the ring at the end. That was too many. 
you cannot do like 20 of them. You can do like two at a time. Unless you have like one of those, you know like those kind of hole punches? Ayy. And then I'm just using one as a template so that you're always punching it in the same spot. V important. So I have all of my pictures on the cards. It looks so cute, I'm so excited. And you know what I was just thinking when I was sitting here doing this? Well, other than the fact that I'm really hungry right now, it'd be really smart. Like I think this is like a good long game gift. You can bring your insects printer or camera, you know, if you're seeing family safely this holiday. And then like, I wanna do this with my grandma, like take photos of her pies and stuff because I don't have any of my grandma's recipes and she bakes like constantly. So I'd love to like do this so I could take a photo of a pie that she bakes and then I can be like, grandma, write down the recipe for me. It won't even be a gift, it's just literally for me. It's a gift to my future self. She's grandma. <laughs> I need the recipes from grandma. It's like, grandma, this is your gift to me. I'm gifting it back. So now, this is where if you had a lined recipe card, you'd be succeeding at life. So I'm just gonna take a protractor and a pencil and draw a faint line wherever I'm gonna do like a title or um, on the back, I'm going to write out the full instructions. So I'm gonna do a quick line on the front, write the title, and then do some dot notes of all of the ingredients that you're gonna need. And then on the back is going to be the full in-depth instructions. If you drew pencil lines, you wanna make sure to erase those and use a good old fashioned, thick white eraser. Don't use the eraser on the back of your pencil because you know it's crap. Even though it's really easy to use it, don't use it. Use the proper ones. Um, and then you shouldn't even see anything when you erase it. Just make sure that your ink is dried. Like I had to leave it for like a couple minutes. And then I'm gonna take all of my cards here. So many yummy recipes. I'm gonna put my recipes on my ring. Get on there. <gasps> so cute. Look how cute it is. Imagine it's like just hanging up in your kitchen though. It's like art. Honestly, this turned out so cute. Me and Allie are going home to make even more of them because we love it so much and I'm gonna make it with my grandma. But of course, we can't forget the mailing part of our DIY mailable gifts. So make sure that you wrap these all up as eco-friendly as you can, reuse some boxes, reuse some envelopes, and uh, let's go mail the thing. Hope you guys are feeling a little bit inspired after all of those gift ideas. I know I am, and I know I'm gonna go get my Christmas shopping done early because this year's gonna be like extra hard. Be I safe know. out there, guys. Let us know if there's any other holiday content you'd like to see this year. Um, we're doing what we can, so try to put ourselves in the right mood. Um, but like you said, stay safe and have a happy holiday. Yeah. Okay, that's all we got. See you in the next one, which is gonna be a good one, so subscribe. What is it? All of them are good ones, okay? I'm confident. She doesn't know. She doesn't even know. What is the next one? I don't know. Yeah. She doesn't know either. Yeah, but I didn't clean. I didn't. Bye. Bye.